Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be testing out the brand new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. If you guys watch my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with e.l.f. It is my favorite drugstore makeup brand, or honestly, just brand in general, that like if I could only use one brand, it would be e.l.f. Their products are so good. And it's one of those brands that I still get genuinely very excited for whenever they do come out with new products. So when I saw this Camo CC Cream, I was like, okay, I need that. I love their Camo concealers, especially their hydrating one. That is my jam. I use it all the time on my channel. So I feel like hopefully this is going to be just as good. So this is a color correcting full coverage natural finish CC cream. It has SPF 30 and there's also skin loving ingredients such as collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. So I was like, okay, sold. I got the shade light 240 W. Hopefully this will be a good match. We'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're just going to get straight into it. So grab a snack and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So let's zoom in, get up close and personal and test out the e.l.f. CC cream. Okay, so on my face right now, I just have on moisturizer and SPF because this morning I did do my usual morning skincare routine. I have on brows and then lashes, of course, which I will link down below if you guys are interested. So I am going to prep my skin with my usual primers. I'm going to keep it really neutral, though. I'm not going to use anything too heavy on the skin, but I want to use products that I genuinely use just to give this a fair shot. So I am going to go in with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. I love this before and after makeup. It's nice and neutral, so it's not going to add any shine or dew to the skin. It's just neutral which is what I want for today. I always use primer water. I feel like it prevents your makeup from looking or feeling cakey throughout the day. And it just gives you that little extra boost and hydration, which I personally love. I have combo skin, by the way. Ooh, feels amazing. And then to prime, I'm just gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is another favorite. I really like this because it feels like a skincare product. It's just nice and hydrating, but it's also gonna make your makeup last. Okay, so packaging wise, the CC cream definitely reminds me of the IT Cosmetics CC cream, like packaging and everything. It looks really nice though. I like how it's nice and sleek. So it says here to apply one or two pumps with the Complexion Duo brush to achieve an airbrushed finish. So I actually did get that brush. So this is the brush that they like recommend to use with the CC cream. I picked it up because I mean, not that I need any more brushes, but I wanted to see how it performed with this product in particular. I'm also gonna use the sponge on the other side just to see how it looks with both. And this is just their complexion sponge, which which is another favorite of mine. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna do two pumps. I think this color might be really good too, hopefully. I have a couple of little things to cover up on this side. So let's start on this side first. Ooh, it feels nice and creamy. So this is what the brush looks like. So it's a dual ended brush. So you get a like foundation brush on one side and then a tinier brush that you could use for concealer on the other. I think the color might be like perfect. Yes. Okay, this has amazing coverage. Wow. That blended in so seamlessly too. Like, do you see like that difference? It like evened out my skin tone and like, I feel like enhanced my natural skin. So that is one layer that looks extremely flawless, you guys. Wow. This brush is really nice too, because I feel like it's big enough to the point where you can blend out your products really easily, but it's also like a good size so you can get in there and like be a little bit more precise on certain areas of your face. So it's like not too big, not too small. Wow, and that shade match is like on point. This is probably like the best shade that I've gotten like ever. And we're in natural light today because I wanted you guys to really see my skin and I feel like you can see products better in natural light. So, um, Wow, this looks really good. It is so like just airbrushed. Okay, come through Elf. So let's do the other side and I'm gonna do that with the sponge so we can see how it looks. Okay, did we just find a new favorite? I think so. I have like this tiny little blemish right above my brow so I just added a little bit more there but Wow, this looks really, really good. So I'm gonna use the other side of that brush and I'm just gonna blend that out where I have those little blemishes. So that actually is very convenient. So if you wanna do a little bit more of like a spot concealer, you wanna add some foundation and blend it out more precisely on a blemish, this little brush works really well to blend out those smaller areas on your face. I think there might be a little bit like slight more coverage with a brush versus with the sponge, but nothing too crazy. I think it just depends on what you like. This brush is really nice though. I would definitely recommend it because I do feel like it gave me like a really soft 
look. On this side, it looks, I think, a little bit more natural with the sponge, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So the coverage is slightly more enhanced with the brush versus with the sponge. Okay, you guys, I'm like so shocked by how it blended into the skin, how it looks right now on my skin. I feel like it looks very skin-like, but the coverage is so on point. It's very fresh, very natural. So far, I'm like really agreeing with all of the claims of the CC cream, like it looks incredible. I honestly don't really smell also a ton of SPF on it, like it's not overly strong. So far, I'm really impressed with it. I'm loving the way that it's looking. It's very, very lightweight, but again, the coverage is very on point. I love the finish of it and I'm loving the shade match on me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll come back in just a little bit and I'll let you guys know how everything is looking. But right now, in this moment, I think I have a new favorite. I mean, of course, we're gonna wear it throughout the day and I'll, maybe that'll change, but right now, Okay, e.l.f. CC cream, loving it. Like This looks so beautiful. So let me finish up my makeup and then I'll be right back and we'll keep chatting. So makeup is complete. I will leave the details for you guys down below. And this is what the makeup looks like. So I'm really loving this, you guys. I literally have nothing bad to say about the way that this looks. I feel like all of my products went on really nicely. And I have to say the hydrating camo concealer looks really good with the CC cream. I feel like both of the products together work really well hand in hand and they really melted into the skin beautifully together. I'm loving this. I think it looks very skin-like, very fresh, very natural. The coverage is on point, and this definitely gives you the coverage of a foundation, but it doesn't feel like a foundation on the skin. It definitely feels like a CC cream or like a BB cream or like a tinted moisturizer. Like It feels like nothing. It's super lightweight. I really like the finish of it, too, because I feel like it's not overly dewy. It's definitely natural, and it's not matte either, so I feel like a lot of different skin types could wear this, just depending on how you prep your skin beforehand, but it looks beautiful, you guys. Like, really, really really smooth. I will say the side with the brush I think looks a little bit softer, has a little bit more enhanced coverage than the side with a sponge where I feel like looks a little bit more natural. They both look really nice, but if I had to choose, I would say go with a brush. I also really do like this complexion duo brush. I think this is a great size. It's very practical. I love how you get a big brush and then something smaller if you want to concentrate product or do some spot concealing. So this brush I really, really like. I'm sure you can get the same result mae with a different brush that you like, but if you're on the e.l.f. website, site and you do want to splurge on both, I do think this combo is worth it. And I believe with the CC cream, there's about 20 shades. So the only, I guess, negative that I have to say is that hopefully they will add more shades. I think at the drugstore, there's always room for improvement when it comes to shade ranges. And although this isn't like the worst that I've seen, I think there's always room for some more shades. So hopefully if this becomes a hit and a very popular product, e.l.f. will continue to add more shades in their line. And then also for my face, if you're wondering, I did set everything with my collab Set the Stage Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. This is still my favorite. I've been loving this for like two years and I love this powder whenever I'm testing out new foundations because it's very natural, the finish of it. It's not dewy, it's not glowy, it's not matte, it's literally just super natural. And then I did set my makeup with the NYX Bear With Me setting spray, which I used earlier. So right now it is around 12 o'clock or so, so I'm just gonna go about my day. I have so many things to do. I am so behind with vlogs. There's just a lot going on, but it's still gonna be a great day and at least today the makeup is on point, the CC cream is on point, so it's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna wear this, of course, for the rest of the day, but I do want to get this up tonight, so I'm not going to wear it until like midnight, but I will wear it probably until around seven or eight o'clock, and we'll see how it looks in a few hours. So I'll see you guys in just a few. Hey guys, so it is several hours later. It's like almost nine o'clock right now, and I have not touched up my makeup. The only thing that I just did before filming was reapply my lip color, but you guys, this looks amazing. I am so impressed with how the CC cream looks. Like I'm actually like shocked. I really don't have anything bad to say about it. I mean, this is with no touch-ups, nothing. I mean, it's been almost, what, like nine hours since I first applied it, and I think this looks incredible. I will say I was not wearing a mask today, but I was outside, I was running around, I was super busy, just like, you know, doing chores and stuff around the house. And today was a more like warmer day than typically. It was like in the high 50s and I was outside, just like in our yard and stuff, but it held up beautifully. I mean, there's like barely any shine peeking through. I don't have any oil or grease on my face. Like this feels really comfortable. It still feels very breathable. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a foundation at all, honestly. And the foundation has not rubbed up around my nose. And I was actually using a tissue earlier with my nose because I do get really bad allergies. And like the fact that this is still intact and in place on my nose is is very impressive. Like the foundation has not faded anywhere and I just think it looks absolutely incredible still. I mean, for me to wear this the entire day and not touching up, I think this looks like almost like fresh. Like I just applied it a few hours ago. Love the coverage. I love the finish of it. And obviously the wearability is actually really nice. Only thing that I can see
see, which to me isn't really a huge deal, is that it does look a little like kind of like it settled into like my nose lines around here, like a little cakey. And it's a little dry around this area of my mouth. But most of the foundation is on my nose and I was using a tissue. And I feel like that beats every other little minor issue, if you want to call it that, that I had with the foundation. So this right here and this is not really a huge deal. I still think the foundation, or I keep calling it a foundation, but it's a CC cream. It reminds me so much of a foundation because of the coverage, but it definitely feels like a CC cream or like a BB cream because it's so lightweight. But I think this looks beautiful. I don't really have any issues with it. And I think this would make for a great everyday product for sure. I thought the brush that I used earlier also, I think it was like eight bucks. I thought that was really nice too. Like, do you absolutely need it in your life? I mean, if you're in the market for a good brush and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I thought it was great. I'm sure you can get that effect with a lot of other foundation brushes, but I really did like it. And I liked the way that it looked with the CC cream. I thought it was beautiful. I'm giving this a double thumbs up. 10 out of 10 would definitely check it out if you guys are in the market for a new CC cream. I will definitely try this out in comparison with the It Cosmetics CC cream and I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I'm really impressed. So let me know if you guys are going to pick this up or if you've tried it already, let me know your thoughts. I hope this was a little bit helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.